Hey, I'm Vlad with Glow Marble, and I'm going to show you how to make some dumbbells out of concrete. But we're doing something different. For the first time, we're making a video without using any Glow Marble products. New York is under quarantine right now, and I was trying to buy some dumbbells online, but the cheapest thing I could find was like $600. I bought everything I needed today from Home Depot, so I got this 10 foot PVC pipe for $3. And then I bought a bunch of these aluminum nails for 60 cents each. These containers for $2.35 each. And then I bought some high strength Sacri concrete mix, 80 pounds for $4.65. I cut these aluminum nails down to size so that they can fit inside of that bucket without touching any of those corners. This is what's gonna make sure that the PVC pipe gets stuck onto the concrete and doesn't shift and slide off. Next thing I wanna do is figure out the length of that PVC pipe. I'm gonna make a 20 pound dumbbell, which means 10 pounds of concrete on each side of that bar. There's no real formula on how to do this, so we're gonna to have to waste 10 pounds of that concrete, but it's pretty cheap, so it's not that big of a deal. I poured 10 pounds of concrete into this container, and for that, I'm gonna use 400 milliliters of water. Then I'm gonna mix it all up with this. Um, you could mix it up with a trowel or even with a gloved hand, but this is way quicker. Now you still have to hit those edges of the bucket with a trowel to make sure that everything's completely mixed in and completely wet. I really don't like the consistency I have here, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to make it more workable and a little more soupy. Then I'm gonna vibrate this down to make sure that everything is completely flat and level. And then take our PVC pipe and dip it in there. You wanna get it all the way down to the bottom and make sure that there's no pebbles or gravel underneath it to make sure that we get an accurate measurement. Now we take a Sharpie and mark off where that point ends. This gets thrown out, this gets washed off, and we'll do the measurements from there. People like different distances between each plate, so I'm just gonna eyeball it to what I like Round over here. I marked off the distance from the very end of it to where the concrete stopped. And I'm just gonna repeat that marking from here on. The concrete will be up to here and up to here and where I hold it is gonna be up to here. Now it's time to chop off this extra PVC pipe. Now I'm going to drill some holes into the PVC pipe, which are going to hold those metal nails. Now I want these nails to sit very tightly in there and not move around, so they don't really fit right now. How I'm going to fix that is with a blowtorch. You could do this with a regular Bic lighter though, but it's gonna be a little bit more time consuming. I just weighed this and it weighs exactly one pound, so I'm gonna cast 9.5 pounds on each side to account for the, uh, for the weight of the actual handle. Here's the best way of mixing concrete is I'm gonna add my 500 milliliters of water into the bucket first, and then start slowly introducing the concrete into there while mixing it. Then we're gonna insert this, and again, make sure that there's no pebbles underneath that PVC pipe. And now we're gonna leave this to cure. 24 hours this cured, and now it's ready to demold. And 
and I'm just gonna trim up some of these edges on the corners while I still can before it gets too hard. And now we can mix up that second batch of concrete to do the other side of that dumbbell. So now it's cured and we can demold it. There's something you should know that you have to wait 78 hours before you could use these at the weight that you, um, you anticipated it to be because there's still a lot of water weight inside of this concrete. You could see this one's a lot darker than that one. This one had time to let all that water evaporate out of it. This one's been sitting inside of the um, inside of the bucket and we poured this one more recently. It's also funny because it reminds me of those plastic dumbbells that are really oversized and you see it like they look really goofy but this looks kind of cool actually because they're concrete but it looks a little bit bootleg also because of this PVC pipe so I'm gonna take some electric tape and cover the handle with it to make it look a lot cooler. Another thing you should know is that this is concrete, not steel, so it's not a good idea to fling them around the house and things like that because uh, they might crack and break. Concrete in general takes about 30 days to cure, so until then it's not at its peak strength. This video helped you out. I had a lot of fun making it and if you're not familiar with Glow Marble, we do a lot of things with concrete, especially to uh, decorate the interior and exterior of your home. I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe during this quarantine and again, thanks for watching.